Welcome to editing in Kurzweil 3000 for Windows. For the most part, Kurzweil 3000 can accurately read textual documents. The more simple the layout of the document, the easier it is for Kurzweil to get everything right. If you are reading with Kurzweil 3000 and everything is good enough for you, then you do not need to bother with any editing. Sometimes Kurzweil 3000 will read material in the wrong order or try to read angled text or bits of pictures and books. Also, sometimes Kurzweil will mispronounce words. If you want to fix either of these kinds of errors, then you will need to edit your document in Kurzweil 3000. Start with a good scan or good source file. The cleaner the text, the easier it is for Kurzweil to read it. Kurzweil cannot read fuzzy text scanned in at a bad angle. Also, the more linear a document is, the easier Kurzweil 3000 can read it. For example, I'm going to open up a journal article that's in the Microsoft Word format. And once the text loads up, you can see how it's a very linear document. The text flows from the top to the bottom. And if I click at the top of the document and click on the Read button, Journal of Psychosocial Nursing, Vol. 42, No. 9 September 2004, Sensory Approaches in Inpatient Psychiatric Setting. You can see that Kurzweil, for the most part, uh, does a good job of reading the text. For a document like this, you may not need to do any editing at all. We will look at a part of a PDF that could use a bit of editing. I'm going to close out the Word document and open up a PDF on my desktop. This is a long PDF and Kurzweil will ask you what pages that you would like in the document to open up. It's best to keep a page range relatively small in Kurzweil. A large file will cause the program to close. Try to keep the pages under 100 and preferably around 50 or so. For demonstration purposes I'm going to select a page range of 10 pages and click the OK button. As the PDF loads itself into Kurzweil 3000, Kurzweil 3000 is doing the OCR step. It's looking at the page, straightening it, and looking for any text and building a text file. There's two kinds of editings that you can do, one called zone editing and one called editing underlying text. During the OCR process, Kurzweil is looking at the order of text and figuring out what order things should be read in. That's called creating zones. When you do some zone editing, what you're doing is adjusting the zones and picking the order that you want text to be read that fits the way that you would like it. You may find that the default zones that Kurzweil 3000 picks are good for you and again you may not need to adjust them. I'm going to save this document going into the menu, going File, Save and I'm going to save it as a Kurzweil 3000 file. Under File Name I'm going to give it a quick name I'm going to make sure the save as type is KESI file format and click save. Now I'll be able to edit the document. I'm going to change the view to height so I can see the full page. And I'm going to enter the zone editor by selecting scan zone editor. I can also press control plus F5. On this first page there are a few zones that I don't need. I can click on a zone that's empty with my mouse and press the delete button to get rid of it. So any zones that I don't need I can press delete. I can then go to the next page by clicking on the next page button or pressing control E 
and here I'll save my zone editor changes and re-recognize the page. It's going to relook at what text is in those zones. I can scroll down the page to see if I like that zone or again I can go up to my zoom selector and choose height to see the whole page. In this case the text is covering most of the table of contents and that's contained inside the two zones and I think that that is what I would like. If I zoom in notice that the first zone has a number one above it and then the second zone has a number two so this is the order that it's going to read these zones in number one first number two second if I wanted to change that I could click on a zone and to select it and then right click on it and select zone properties in the zone properties I can adjust the reading order make it number two for example to be the second zone click OK and now the first zone will be read second and then the next zone will actually be read first. I'm going to change that back. The zone is still selected that I want. I can right click on it, select properties and change the reading order to number one. Click OK. If I want to adjust a zone to change its size I can click on a zone right click on it and select adjust zone so a zone is just a box and you can grab the grab handles on the side of, of the box and move it around to decide what you want to contain you don't have to fit it exactly around the text as long as the text that you want is contained inside the box and it's not overlapping other text I wouldn't want to take this zone and cover half of some other text because it will try and read that text and it will do a poor job of it. So as long as I'm outside of that other text the zone will be fine. I can click outside of it and then I have my zones. Sometimes it's easier to delete all of the zones and start from scratch. You can hold down the shift key and press delete and it will ask me if I want to delete all the zones. I can press the OK button and all of the zones are gone. Now I need to draw in my own zones. I could draw one zone on this table of contents heading and then draw another box or zone around the rest of the content like was there. But I really only need one box. What I'm going to do actually is zoom out. So I can see here's the content that I want read. I don't even need to really see the content. I just know that this is the box, the content that I would like a box around. So on the empty space I'm going to right click, select add zone, and now my cursor has been changed to a, a plus symbol or a target. I can go up to the top left area of where I want to draw a box, left click and hold, and I'm going to drag the box around the area of text that I want and let go. I can click outside of the box and that will create a zone. There are different kinds of zone types. Yellow zones are called primary zones and primary zones will always be read automatically by Kurzweil 3000 and you could make all of your text primary zones. You might want to make some text as a secondary zone. Secondary zones are text that will be read by Kurzweil 3000 if you click on that area of the page otherwise Kurzweil 3000 will skip it. Secondary zones can be used for things like sidebars or definitions on the side of a page. If I wanted to make this zone a secondary zone, I can left click to select the zone, right click my mouse, go back to properties, and I can make this a secondary text zone. If I do so and click OK, it will now turn green. Now I know it's a secondary zone right clicking on the zone, selecting properties, I can change it back to primary. And select OK. Primary and secondary zones are the only zones that you'll really need to use. And again you could just use primary zones if you'd like. Now we'll look at editing some pages that may have a little bit more complexity to them. This page I'm going to zoom out so we can see the whole page and you can see that there's a lot of text plus a large graphic in the middle of the page. Here Kurzweil 3000 did a great job. If I zoom back in, 
we can see how well Kurzweil did, making sure that the text is in the right order and that the graphic wasn't selected. So the zones are in the right order, zone 1, zone 2, and if I scroll down, the image doesn't have any kind of zone on it. And if I keep scrolling, things flow in a nice linear order. This text below the image explains what the image is, and if I wanted to, this is the kind of thing that I might make a secondary text. This belongs to the image and doesn't really go with the main story here. So I could left click to select it, right click, change the zone properties, and select secondary text. Click OK. Again, this zone will be read in Kurzweil 3000 if you click on this text. Otherwise, Kurzweil 3000 will just skip over it. And we'll go to the next page. It'll ask if I want to save the zone editor changes. Yes, I want to save that. Yes, I do want to re-recognize the page. And Kurzweil will do a new OCR step, just making sure it has the text right. And then skip to the next page. If I scroll down this page, there's lots of text, lots of text, and here's an image with a figure, and again, the image has been skipped. So this page is like the last one. If anything, if I want to, I could make this figure text be secondary zone. Again, that's up to you to decide if you want to do that. I've gone to one more page here, and I'm going to scroll down. starts off with some text in a nice order, but then we can see that Kurzweil has identified some text inside of some pictures and these are meant just to be pictures not text that's supposed to be read out loud so I could left click to select the zone and press my delete key on my keyboard or I can right click on the zone and press delete zone and clean all of that up again just as a reminder sometimes on more complex pages it's easier to start over from scratch I'm actually going to adjust my zoom level to text height so I can see the whole screen I'm going to hold down my shift key and press delete and delete all my zones and since this is the text that I'm after this main quick tips box I can just right click anywhere select add zone I have my crosshairs I can go to the top left of the zone that I want to draw left click and hold drag to make a box that I want to contain all the text and let go. And I've made a zone and click outside of it. If I want the figure text I can also right click, select add zone and draw a quick box around that as well. The underlying text is the heart of Kurzweil 3000 and this is actually what Kurzweil 3000 ultimately is reading changing text here directly changes what Kurzweil 3000 reads. You can enter the text editor using the menu by selecting Edit, Correct Recognition, Edit Underlying Text, or press Control F10. Then the underlying text editor opens up. A box opens up at the bottom of the screen below the main window. In that box just some plain text is shown. If you select a word in the edit underlying text section a corresponding word will be selected in the main window and vice versa. I can click on a word in the main window and the corresponding underlying text word is selected. What you see in the main window is kind of like a picture it shows you what a word should look like and the underlying text is what Kurzweil will actually read. If you want to change one of these words because it's being read incorrectly you can click on a word either in the main window or in the underlying text window and change it. I'm going to change this word shapes to zebra and now if I exit the underlying text editor by pressing Control F10, I can save my changes. So I had selected this word shapes. It looks like shapes, but again, the underlying text is what's being read. So if I select um, my reading and press the read button, 
The word shapes should read a zebra. Theme fills to zebra. The other theme. Once again, this word shapes will say zebra. Zebra. I can enter the text editor by pressing Control F10, and I can change that back to shapes. You can also change a word if, for example, Kurzweil 3000 shows a word like pepperoni in the main text area, but in the underlying text it has the word pistachio. That would be a correction error. And so you could change the underlying text word pistachio to pepperoni so it would match the main text. You can also un change underlying text if Kurzweil has the correct spelling, but it's not reading the word correctly. Kurzweil does a good job of trying to read words, but sometimes it just doesn't read them the right way. So if you want to do that, you can take a word and spell it phonetically by guessing at the, the sounds that it should say and typing that in. I would just select a word such as theme and I can spell it in a way that I think might be phonetically instead of T-H-E-M-E -E, I'll spell it T-H-E-E-M for example and if I exit the underlying text editor pressing control F10 and saving that and now I can try and get it to read that word theme so it still reads it as theme editing in Kurzweil 3000 is meant to help improve the reading flow of a document if the file reads fine to you from the start, then no editing is needed. If you want to improve things, start by cleaning up some zones, and for many, this is all the editing that is needed. Enter the underlying text editor if you need to change the actual text that Kurzweil reads and fine-tune the document. Remember, a little editing goes a long way.